So far we've learned method one, which is to rewrite the bases so that they are the same, and then setting the exponents equal to one another. Now we're going to take a look at method two. The reason why we need another method is because that first method doesn't always work. It's the easiest, but again, it doesn't always work. For example, if I look at example four, 2x equals 7, there is no way that I can rewrite 7 as 2 to some power. Or at least there's no nice way of doing it. Because 2 to the first power is 2, 2 squared is 4, 2 cubed is 8, but I can't get to that 7. So, when it's not convenient to write each side of the equation as an exponential function with the same base, you can instead solve the equation by taking the logarithm of each side. When determining how to take the logarithm of each side, the base of the logarithm must be the base of the exponent. So for example 4, I see that the base of my exponent is 2. So what I'd have to do is take log base 2 of each side. Just so we see what that looks like, I now have log base 2 of 2x equals log base 2 of 7. Remember, we had discussed something earlier called inverse property, saying that if the log of the base is the same as the log of the exponent, they cancel each other out. So I'm just left with that x. You could have also used the power property, which is where you bring the x down. So it's x times log base 2 of 2, which would be 1, because 2 to the first power would give me 2. x times 1 gives you x. This is just the easier way of doing it. So I have x equals log base 2 of 7. Now, does 2 to some power give me 7? No. 2 to some power will not nicely give me 7. We went over this. 2 to the first power is 2. 2 squared is 4. 2 cubed is 8. So I can't get there. When we cannot use the circle trick, we need to use the change of base formula. So everything that we've learned so far is coming back up. When you use the change of base formula, I like to use the common logarithm. Uh, so I'm going to do log of x, which is 7 in this case, over log of the base, which was 2. If I plug that into my calculator, log of 7, close it, divided by log of 2. I get approximately 2.807 because the 3 is not big enough to boost it. So approximately 2.807. I need to check it. Because this is approximation, the check is okay to be slightly off. It's not going to be exact, but it needs to be close. And you'll see what I'm talking about here in a moment. So when we check, we plug it back in to our original solution. So I have 2 to the 2.807 power equals 7. Let's plug that in. 2 to the 2.807 power gives me 6.998, 6.998, would you say that 6.998 is approximately 7? Yeah, it's close enough that I can conclude 
yes, x is approximately 2.07. It's slightly off, but that's okay, because this was slightly off. It wasn't exact. Let's try example five. If you want to check and see if method one works, that's fine. Remember, you can see if I can rewrite 200 as 5 to some power. So if I try it, let's say 5 cubed is 125. So that doesn't work. What about 5 to the fourth power? That's 625. That's way too big. So there's no way I can get to that 200. So I tried, but method one doesn't work. So now I'm going to have to use method two, which is to take the log of each side. Remember, when you take the log of each side, the base needs to match the base of the exponent. So it's log base 5 and log base 5. Just to rewrite it uh, so you can easily see what's going on here, I have log base 5 of 5x minus 2 equals log base 5 of 200. Log base 5 of 5 cancels out, and I'm just left with that x minus 2 equals log base 5 of 200. The whole goal is to get x by itself, right? It's not by itself. I'm currently adding or subtracting 2, so I need to add 2 to each side. That gives me x equals log base 5 of 200 plus 2. You cannot, I repeat, you cannot combine that 200 and 2. You also should not combine this whole thing in your calculator at once. You can't even because this is a log base 5. What you're going to have to do here is find out what log base 5 of 200 is. And we've already established it's not some nice number. So I'm going to have to use the change of base formula again. Change of base would look like log of 200 divided by log of 5. So I have approximately 3.292. Approximately 3.29, oops, 292. And I'm adding 2 to that value. 3 plus 2 is 5, so it's approximately 5.292. Let's see if this really is a solution. Because it's an approximation, it's going to be slightly off, so it'll be close to 200, but not exactly. So I have 5 to the 5.292 minus 2 power. So that should approximately be 200. Well, 2.292 minus 2 is... 3.292. Let's see what we get. 5 to the 3.292 power is 199.990. 199.990. Would you say that that is approximately 200? Yes. So that is a solution. Next, we have 10 to the 2x minus 3 power plus 4 equals 21. Now, something I haven't mentioned yet, but it is important, is that when you take the log of each side, the exponent must be by itself. When I look at example 6, this exponent, 10 to the 2x minus 3, is not by itself. I'm currently adding 4. So I need to get rid of that 4 before I can do anything. To undo addition, I need to subtract, meaning I have 10 to the 2x minus 3 power equals 17. 
Now that the exponent is by itself, I can take the log of each side. Remember, the log needs to have the same base as the exponent. So you could write log base 10 of each side or just write the word log because this is the common logarithm. So I have log of 10 to the 2x minus 3 equals log of 17. Again, if you really, really want to write in that understood 10, you are welcome to it, um, but you don't have to. So the 10 and 10 cancel each other out. We just have 2x minus 3 equals that log, base 10 if you want to write it, of 17. x is still not by itself. I would first need to add 3 to each side. So I have 2x equals log, base 10 if you want, of 17 plus 3. x still isn't by itself. I would need to divide each side by 2. When you divide by 2, it's this whole thing by 2. So I have x equals log base 10 of 17 plus 3 over 2. Again, you cannot combine the 17 and the 3. We are taking the log of 17, not of 17 plus 3. So when you plug it in your calculator, we have log base 10 of 17, or just the common log of 17, close that parentheses, plus 3. So this is my whole numerator. I wouldn't go ahead and put divided by 2 yet, because then that would only divide the 3 by the 2. So I'm just going to hit enter, and now I'm going to divide by 2. I get approximately 2.115. Let's check our work. 10 to the 2 times 2.115 minus 3 plus 4 equals 21. That gives me 10 to the, if I have 2 times 2.115, <coughs> that gives me 4.23. And I'm subtracting 3 from that. So that's 10 to the 1.23 power. Plus 4 equals 21. 10 to the 1.23 power is 10 to the 1.23, 16.982 approximately. And if I add 4 to that, I get 20.982, which is approximately 21.